All right, so we've got our sketchbook, we've got our doodling mind map, and I'm still gonna be adding kind of some of my doodles out through here, added some color. And if you have any supplies, uh, definitely kind of use those any way you want to. Oh, don't be late for class, okay? Uh, here we go. You're gonna turn your page to your next sketchbook page, and I'm gonna be working on, you're gonna need like a clean spread, you're gonna need a one page, one page, left and a right, and uh, here we go, okay? So, uh, I measure maybe about two fingers from the top, and then I'm gonna draw a line down the middle, like so, okay? Will look something like that. I'm gonna throw a quick little, small little frame. You can do that if you want. Up here at the top, I'm going to write doodling, okay? Over here, I know this sounds funny, go with it, but I'm gonna add noodling, okay? Now yesterday, we have talked all about doodling. We have not yet talked about this idea of noodling, okay? And here's the basic premise. Doodling is like making the cake, okay? Noodling is icing the cake, okay? Doodling is what you kind of make to get something going. But noodling is the icing, it's the decorating, it's the making it look really cool. What I wanna to do today is I wanna look at a couple different ways to doodle, and I also wanna introduce you guys to a couple different ways to noodle, okay? No doodling is making the cake, noodling is icing that cake, all right? Let's look at this first one. Like we've learned, shapes. Sorry about my handwriting, but shapes, oh man, that's pretty bad. Shapes are a great thing to doodle, all right? Basic, geometric shapes. Huh? I'm not sure. But you can also do different types of shapes as well. You know, symbols are shapes, so on and so forth. But inside this section called shapes, I want you to put quite a few shapes. Now, those are the cakes. That's like the raw form. What would it look like to ice these things and make them look a lot better, all right? Well, one way is shading, okay? Something we're doing in our daily doodles. But shading is a great way to add a little bit of interest and some icing into those shapes, okay? It's real easy to do, but it makes them look a little more interesting. Another thing, another good doodle working with shapes is to make them go 3D. What does that look like? And we're gonna be exploring this later on this year, but making those shapes look a little more three-dimensional. Okay? If you curve the bottom, add your shading. It looks more like a pyramid. And I'm just adding some diagonal lines on the side, curving the back. And there I've got a little more three-dimensionally. One of my favorites is taking the square, adding your diagonals, and you're good to go, get a little cube, okay? Mine aren't perfect, but that is okay. Now, if that doesn't make sense to you, you're not sure how to do it, try it, play around with it. Try to create those, but if that's not your thing, that's okay. But shapes are a great sort of doodle but man, shading and making them three-dimensional is a great way to noodle them as well, okay? Another thing, 
All right, words. We've talked about, you know, you can write words in a doodle. I always prefer to kind of work in block lettering. And so if those are kind of the raw form, what would noodling some of these look like? You could definitely add the shading would be a good idea. You could definitely add kind of the three dimensionality, which would be super cool. Uh, but you could also sort of work with like different styles. What if you made these like bubble letters? Only curved lines. And then of course, you can add your shading. Okay. That technique I'm using right there is called hatching. Just working with little, uh, short little lines. But there's so many different um, styles of lettering. And so noodling with words, just styles of lettering. Look up cool fonts and cool ways to write stuff. But that is what that would look like. Okay? Uh, let's, let's take this idea of um, faces, characters. Okay? Now, stick people are easy to work with and they can be kind of cool little doodles as well, but you can also do so much more, okay? You can make them a little more modified. Change them up. Add a little more, you know, to them to make them kind of interesting, okay? You could also do uh, silhouettes of people where you just kind of fill in the shapes. All right, and so just kind of filling in the shapes as well. Uh, faces can be a great sort of doodle and funny, weird looking faces can be a lot of fun uh, to work with. However you want to make it. Your faces don't need to be perfect, but um, you know, you can do so many different things with, uh, with faces. I'm gonna draw this one again over here. My faces always look super weird which I like, but a great way to noodle as well is just adding some color. Adding color to your doodles is a great way to really make them, uh, you know, come alive. It can be random colors, all sorts of things. And that makes that doodle look a little more Interesting. Okay, so modify your faces and characters. Try to push them um, further along. Okay, how about patterns? Aren't patterns a great thing to kind of doodle? If you ever don't know what to do, my advice is always work with some type of pattern. Okay, you can find any type of really cool pattern out there on the internet. But what would be ways that you could noodle patterns, okay? One way to noodle is to combine ideas. Remember those shapes from the beginning? What if you took shapes and you added patterns inside of there? What if you also Doing a little bit of color. So here I have shape, pattern, and color.
mixing and matching combine and mix always a good idea okay so show me what that kind of looks like in your sketchbook a couple more just to show you guys uh, one that we haven't really looked at which is really cool is um tangles all right a little bit tricky but you're simply working with these curved lines and you're kind of like wrapping them around one another okay and think of noodles think of like ropes or knots and you can just really get lost in making these and once you add a lot you just kind of keep adding like little pieces to it but this is just a fun one just to kind of really make this really crazy visual um, tangle of these things and it's pretty easy to do once you get in that rhythm and just practice now as you take it over here uh, once again look for ways to noodle it color shading um, I'm gonna introduce you guys real quick also to a technique which uh, is called stippling and so I'm gonna make a little miniature version of the tangle here okay you get the idea and then stippling is adding all these little dots and it adds kind of a cool texture, adds some shading, um, but that is stippling, just dots. Okay, it's a little labor intensive or it has, I mean, it takes a little bit of work, but it is actually, it can look super cool. I'm just a big fan of shading um, these tangles and making them look pretty neat like that. Okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to have a section at the bottom where I want you to come up with some type of doodle and I want you to come up with some type of noodle. But once again, think of doodling as just the raw form of the doodle. Noodling is making it, um, you know, taking it to the next level. All right, so you're gonna come up with that and I wanna see a doodle and a noodle. All right, good luck.